So climate change is a big threat that we are facing today. And I think there's a lot to be done from understanding the extent of climate change, the extent of the impacts associated with these extreme events, and trying to find ways to adapt to the changes that are already happening. And this is what keeps me going, that there's a lot to be done. We have to figure out how to address climate change. And the only possible way for, for changing how all nine billion of us on the planet interact with the Earth system is through human social processes, our laws, policies, and behaviors. And so we simply have to. Well, these are problems of global significance that we're working on. And it's really exciting to see all of the different groups in society that are interested in solving. One of the reasons I like to work at a national laboratory is because we have a mission. And that mission is to help society better prepare for the future based on decisions that we make today. So soils are a huge reservoir of carbon. They store more carbon than both the atmosphere and all of the vegetation combined. That balance between what gets released to the atmosphere and what stays in is really important for predicting future climate. So I get to work with researchers who are looking at health outcomes or the impact on hydropower generation or electricity demand. So that way we are trying to understand how these extremes are going to impact lives of people. Putting these pieces together in virtual space, we can run experiments with the globe and understand how decisions we make now could impact society's future. You know, we really are going to have to change almost everything in our economy to address these global issues, and we need bright, young, energetic people to do that. So I hope that perhaps some of the people watching will consider that for the future.